In our last video, we talked about how to convert using Moletown. Uh, I'm going to talk about how to convert in a two-step mole problem. So, uh, the problem asks me, or gives me, sorry, the number of atoms, and it's asking me how much does this weigh in grams. So, if I want to solve this problem using Moletown, um, I have Moletown. I know the steps that we talked about in our first video. I'm going to be converting from my number of atoms, which is a type of particle, and the problem asks me for the number of grams, which is a type of mass. You cannot go off-roading in Moletown, so you have to follow the street. You'll go from particles to moles, and then you'll convert from moles to mass, meaning that this is a two-step mole problem. When I set this problem up in my chart, I can go ahead and set up two spots, because if I don't use both of them, I did something wrong. Uh, the first area is your given, then you'll convert from particles to moles, and then moles to mass in this last part. So I'll start with my given, I'll go ahead and plug that in, uh, 9.82 times 10 to the 24th, and my units here are atoms of NaCl, sorry about running out of space there. Um, down here I'll get rid of atoms of NaCl, and then I'll have to think about what I know how to get to. Since I don't know how many uh, atoms are in a gram, I can convert from particles to moles, or from atoms to moles. Um, this first part, I'm just doing my units. So what I'm leaving goes on bottom, what I'm headed to goes on top, then what I'm leaving goes on bottom, what I'm headed to goes on top. In other words, atoms of NaCl goes on the bottom, and I'll have to get to moles of NaCl. Then I want to get rid of moles of NaCl and get to grams of NaCl, which is my final goal. Uh, and then I go back and I plug in the numbers. So I go through the entire problem and write down all of my units. Then I'm going to go back and I'll plug in all the numbers. Because if you can line up the units, it makes the problem a lot simpler. Um, for this first step, it's how many atoms are in a mole. So 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms are in one mole. If you're using Moletown, it gives you right here this 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd number. You just have to know that that's how many atoms are in a mole. Uh, the next step, the street sign on the side of the road of molar mass or of Moletown says molar mass. Sorry about that. Um, so I'll need the molar mass of NaCl, which you should already know how to calculate. If you don't, uh, sodium's mass is 23 grams, and chlorine's mass is 35 grams. You multiply by the amount, which is both 1, and then you add them up. So that would give me 58 grams of chlorine, and that's grams per mole. So I'll plug in 58 next to my number of grams, and 1 will go next to my mole. Um, your next thing that you want to do is to cancel out your units. So atoms of NaCl is on the top and on the bottom. Moles of NaCl is on the top and on the bottom. And I'll be left with grams of NaCl. You multiply everything on top. So I'll do 9.82 times 10 to the 24th times 58. And I'll divide that number by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. If you type your math into the calculator correctly, you'll get 946 grams of NaCl. Um, please make sure you actually type that into your calculator because a lot of people make a mistake here. Remember that calculators are not so smart and we have to tell them exactly what, they, exactly what we mean. If you type into your calculator everything on top and then you type divided by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd without parentheses or anything like that, um, your calculator thinks that you actually want to multiply by 10 to the 23rd. So make sure you're telling it exactly what you want it to do. Um, I'm going to show you how to do that problem using Moletown. Remember that if you are going into town, you divide, and if you're going out of town, you multiply. Like I said earlier, I don't want you to do your work this way. I want to see the charts like this. But this is a great way to double check and make sure you're doing things correctly. So I'll start with my 9.82 times 10 to the 24th, which is my number of atoms. I'll go into town, and since I'm going into town, 
I will divide by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. That gets me to my number of moles. Then I'm going to go from moles to mass, and I'm going to do that by multiplying by the molar mass. The molar mass of, chlor of um, salt sorry, is 58 grams per mole. So I'll multiply by 58. Then I push enter, and my mass is 946 grams. So it's the same answer, it's just a way to go back and check your work. Make sure you're following all the steps correctly and using Molestown to do that.